What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversitz from Pixel Feed here. And in this video, we're gonna go over Facebook ads detailed targeting expansion explain. Should you use it or not? But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So a lot of you have been asking about detailed targeting expansion. For those of you that don't know, when you go to your targeting to do your detailed targeting right here, when you go to put interest, you see this little box right here that says detailed targeting expansion. And a lot of, a lot of you are asking if you should do it or not. So I'm gonna to explain to you when you should do it and why you should do it and why you shouldn't do it. So make sure we pay attention here. So basically when you have an account that has plenty of data, uh, it's going to show you this chart right here, and it's going to give you a prediction of the type of results you should get based on the budget. The first thing that I'm going to tell you here is that this is not accurate 95% of the time. So never, ever, ever make predictions on your account based on this little graph right here, because I'm going to tell you right now, 95% of the time, it is not accurate. Okay, so every single time you launch a new campaign or a new ad set, you set your budget at where you feel comfortable at, and then you run it. And based on the, on the stats that you get back, that's when you're going to make a decision if you're going to make it or uh, if you're going to keep it running or not. All right. For example, when you go in here on this account right now, our audience size open is 41 million people. All right. Open. All right, so that's in the US. If I go in here, where to go? And I go into my detailed targeting and I type in, I love dogs, just to give you an example. I love my dog. You're gonna see that my definition is gonna change right here. So now my audience, it's only 2,100,000 people, okay? So what happens if I click detailed targeting expansion. Now my audience is gonna change. Now my audience is gonna be 41 million people. So you're probably asking to yourself, how is that even, how does that work? Well, when you have a brand new account and you don't have data on it, you haven't run any, you, you have less than 1,000 purchase events, right? You don't wanna give Facebook the choice to go out there and try to find uh, conversions for you because what happens is is that Facebook doesn't have enough data in the ad account itself to match up to the rest of the users. So the more data that you have, the better Facebook is supposed to perform. So if you have less than 1,000 events, purchase events, because most of you are in e-com, if you are leads for that matter, if you have less than 1,000, I wouldn't even bother with the with, uh, uh, expansion because now you're giving Facebook the option to go out there and try to match all the data that's in your account and you barely have any. Remember, the more data that you have in your account, the better results you're going to get. And you do that by spending money. So when you do that, you know, uh, you're giving Facebook the choice to go out there and get it for you. And then you turn this on. Now Facebook is gonna open it up to 41 million people. But the way it works is, Facebook looks at the interest that you give it here and it's gonna go, okay, Christian is looking for people who are interested in I love my dog, that I love my dog page. So what I'm gonna do as Facebook, I'm gonna look into this pool of people and if I can't find anybody here, then I'm gonna expand it and that's when you click this box and it's gonna go after this, the pool of 41 million people that are available to the platform, right? So, but again, if you don't have that data, it's not gonna be fast on getting that, right? And it, as you can see here, you know, based on the budget, it's still three purchases just because the data is not there, okay? Same thing with lookalikes. If you're creating lookalikes and your lookalikes don't have enough data to go after those pool of people, you shouldn't expand that either because when you add lookalikes here, you go to custom audiences and let's say page view, right? So page view 180 days, 10%. It gives you the option here, lookalike expansion, and now we go from 510,000 people to 2 million and 100,000 people. And what is Facebook going to do? Facebook is gonna pick people out of this pool right here, and then when they can't find people in that pocket, it's gonna to expand to this number right here, and it's gonna keep looking for those people. But in order for it to work, you have to have enough data. I know some of you are in a hurry to try to get results and all that good stuff, 
but you have to make sure you have those events. You have to have over a thousand events. And remember, like I said, do not go based on this graph here because it's 95% of the time it is not accurate at all. So what's the verdict? Should you use expansion or not? If you have the data, go for it. Expand the audience. If you don't have the data, then don't expand on it. If you're trying to keep your targeting very narrow and very specific to a very specific group of people, then don't use it. If you have a generic product that will work anywhere in the dog niche, for example, then you expand it, right? But if it's a very specific product inside for a certain breed of dog, let's say, so like let's say Frenchie or German Shepherd, then you keep it narrow because the way Facebook is gonna look at it is like, oh, he's looking for dogs, so let's look for dogs. They don't go, you know, the AI doesn't go as narrow as like, oh, he's looking specifically for Frenchies or specifically for German Shepherds. He's looking for dogs in general. The way the AI works is, the AI scans your video, scans your picture, reads your copy. So based on all of that, it's gonna match everything together, but it's not smart enough to look for like, let's say the type of breed of dog you're looking for. It just sees it as, as a dog. You know, it's like, the, it's like the Tesla AI, when it's on the road, it just sees car. It doesn't see the, the brand of the car or, you know, what model and all that good stuff. So think about it that way. You know, we like to, to think that Facebook algorithm is very smart, but it's actually still pretty dumb. And, and, and the facts, uh, uh, not the facts, that's not the word I'm looking for, in the terms of knowing super duper specifics. Is it gonna get there one day? Absolutely, it's gonna get there. So be very careful with your lookalike expansions right here and your detail expansion right here. Only do it when you have enough data and it's a broad term. If it's very specific, don't do it. Guys, if you liked that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. Click on them, check out the next video, and I'll see you there.